Facilities Services Government Contractor J&J Worldwide Services has officially begun work on a four-year contract from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for Operations and Maintenance Duties at Alexander T. Augusta Military Medical Center. Executive Mosaic's GovCon index closed last week with a 1.46% increase to $4,639.99. The Senate on Tuesday is expected to vote on a continuing resolution that intends to avert a government shutdown by funding government operations until March. In a letter sent on Thursday to NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, Republican Representatives Roger Williams of Texas and Nick Lilota of New York expressed concern about the small business impact of NASA's decision to use a revenue-based code under the North American Industry Classification System for the sixth iteration of the Solutions for Enterprise-Wide Procurement Government-Wide Acquisition Contracts Vehicle. The Government Accountability Office has recommended that the Office of Science and Technology Policy facilitate interagency collaboration when identifying whether a funded organization is under foreign ownership, control or influence. The Office of the Department of Defense's Chief Information Officer has released a document establishing the DoD Cyber Assessment Program and defining the scope and authorities of DoD Cyber Red Teams. The U.S. Army will enhance its strategy toward becoming a more data-centric organization in 2024 by implementing proactive initiatives in information literacy as well as intelligence sharing and communication, said David Pierce, an Army intelligence officer. Army Major General Thomas Cardin Jr., Adjutant General of the Georgia National Guard, has been nominated by President Biden to serve as Deputy Commander of U.S. Northern Command. Join Potomac Officers Club's challenges and best practices to achieving audit readiness in the DoD Forum on January 29, 2024. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. The National Institute of Standards and Technology has added five new members to an advisory committee offering insights on microelectronics research and development policies. The Department of Commerce has established a new council whose function is to provide the Minority Business Development Agency with advice to help promote the growth of minority-owned businesses.